Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Replay! Mario's Time Machine, the NES version. Years ago I did the Super Nintendo version, and that was the one I grew up with. The NES version is actually quite different in a lot of ways. It's still an edutainment game, but it's structured in such a different way. Sorry, Yoshi, you're not allowed to go into this museum. It's not for you. Bowser and his Koopas have built the greatest museum in history, but to do it, they have stolen many important items from the past. British Museum sweating. Alright, well, I guess Yoshi's going in anyway. Turns out Yoshi was Bowser all along. Oh no, Yoshi! Yoshi went exploring on his own, and now he has been captured by Bowser. Before he rescues Yoshi, Mario must find the stolen items and return them to the proper places in history. Okay, I'll go now. So yeah, they just borrow some assets from a uh, Super Mario World, but they're NESified, so it just looks so weird. To find the artifact, you just gotta play classic Mario Bros. Alright, I picked up a torch. Alright, so what era we gotta go to? Our torch is actually 776 BC. So I think it's around the first Olympics? As you can see, it's very jank to move around. The Greeks value all around excellence in sport. The pentathlon was a contest which included discus, long jump, javelin, wrestling, and racing. You will have to remember all these facts because that's going to come up later on. For many years, these events were for male contestants and male spectators only. But by 264 BC, women were winning chariot races. That's girl power. It only took them 500 years to progress. These athletic contests are held as a religious festival in honor of Zeus, ruler of the gods. So once you have the item, press select to put it in your inventory, then press start where it should go. Let the games begin. Each door you gotta go into twice, by the way. A light bulb? If you played the uh, Super Nintendo version, some of these might be familiar to you right off the hop. We had the light bulb in the SNES version as well, which was 1879 in Low Park. Yeah, but we're just straight up in his house now. Sometimes they're just random Koopas. They're gonna get you! You cannot control the height of your jump at all in this. Edison once said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Maybe he's just a sweaty dude. The Wizard of Menlo Park invented the phonograph, the alkaline battery, and an early motion picture camera. I think I gotta bring the light bulb here. Oh, so even if you got the right item, but in the wrong location, it kicks you out. I'm trying to remember how the hell you leave. Oh, right, you just go the same way.
It's so ultra specific what you gotta do as well. So I think that's a really poor design choice to be like, Oh, it's the right era and the right item, but the wrong spot for said item, so we have to kick you out immediately. That's just like filling in a Scantron, but some of your pencil mark was just like one dot outside the circle, so it's an automatic fail. I think it's actually right here. No! What the hell? That looks like where our light bulb should go. Is it like the far right of every level, no matter how stupid a position that might be? Like, why would it be there? Oh, you cannot scroll it to the right, so you have to go all the way. Or you can't scroll it left when it's at the far left. Is what I mean to say. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try it here. Oh, that's bullshit. Why would I put it in the phonograph? I want those jams to be lit, alright? <laughs> like, lit up with a light bulb. I have an apple now. That's Sir Isaac Newton times. Which is 1687. Newton's most famous law says that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother to like get, get the clues. Because I do have a little bit of a sense of history to a degree. And I feel like that should help me. I'm just gonna rush through. Okay, at least you can just put it right on the tree. And this artifact is the sledgehammer. All right, what year was Triple H born? Wait, what? <laughs> it's actually 1989. Three years after I was born. Alright, gotta bring this to Gorbachev to tear down this wall. Another sledgehammer will come in handy. The Berlin Wall is about to collapse. Timber! Well, if there are any Koopas still in there, too bad. This is our mausoleum now. I have an egg. This is for 80 million BC. This so looks like a dinosaur egg, really. You know, for a game that's not really spectacular, the music is pretty good. Rude. Because you return a precious dinosaur egg, you have given new life to these magnificent creatures that are about to die real soon. So here, if we let one more dinosaur be born so it can die too. Stovepipe hat. Oh, that's a blinkin' times. 1862 it is. 
This must be the uh, Battle of Gettysburg right here. Yep, it is. I'm pretty sure this guy be brought right at the gates of Gettysburg. Thank you. Abe just hasn't been himself without a stovepipe hat. He even refused to sign the Gettysburg Address without it. Dude, did just get another hat. Like it. Apparently in the uh, mid-19th century, you were only allowed one hat. I'm so glad we're not back to that era. Steering wheel. This has to go to 1520. This must be uh, Magellan? Although his crew completed his mission, Magellan perished in the Philippines during the voyage. Magellan's voyage proved that the Earth was indeed round. Imagine this guy dying for people to still think it's flat. Because he ever returned Magellan's steering wheel, he could continue with his crew on this first voyage around the world. Alright, what we got here? A flag! Not only that, the Indian flag. So we need to go 1947. When India achieved independence from the British. Do I have to bring it to the Taj Mahal? I imagine that'd be a very important place to uh, put up a flag. The return of the new Indian flag marks the birth of a new nation, making Gandhi proud. Good for him. Then he reigns nuclear war in civilization games. A quill pen. This has to go to 1602. I believe that's Shakespeare. Yoshi, Yoshi, wherefore art thou, Yoshi? Because of Shakespeare's plays, Julius Caesar and Macbeth rely on actual history, or many of his plays rely on actual history for their stories. Here, I'll give it to the curtain. Now that you have returned his quill pen, Shakespeare can continue to write his famous sonnets and plays. Where's its sonnet? Anyway, whatever it is, we got another flag. It's not during USA's independence time. 1969, that's gonna be the moon landing. It is. Oh, the gravity's lower too. Even Koopas cannot breathe in space. That one could! <laughs> oh no! Neil Armstrong's dead! Because you returned the flag, man's first landing on the moon can be claimed by the United States. A small step for man, apparently. Throne. That's for 31 BC. I have played this game before, by the way. Well, on stream. Just as Egypt is famous for its high pyramids, so is Cleopatra for her beauty. Hopefully it wasn't also built up by workers. Cleopatra and her brother were both made to rule Egypt, but her selfish brother didn't want to share the throne. Hey. Now 
that Cleopatra has a throne back, she can resume her reign as the Queen of Egypt. She cannot rule while standing the whole time. It's gonna be hard on her feet. A propeller? Oh, that would be around the time that airplanes actually existed. So somewhere in the 20th century, I would say, would be a reliable choice. Yeah, maybe I should go somewhere that actually has a plane on it. Thank you. Now that you've returned the propeller, fasten your seatbelt to prepare for takeoff. That's for the Wright brothers. Mario and Luigi can sometimes be the wrong brothers. Except for the times that they're not. I have a sward. Surely 1192 AD had swords in it. This looks like it's for... Japan? What would a samurai be without his sword? Just some dude with armor. That's hardly exciting at all. E equals MC squared. That means we gotta go to Einstein. Nineteen oh five. How is that not the right location? Uh, first, like it's mine now. I'm gonna shit on it. Turn the Koopas into coins, not that it does anything. Oh, we're almost done. This is the final door. So I got the era correct. What year did I say? Oh yeah, 1905. Wrong location again, Mario, you suck! And the thing is, like, how do the hints even help you? Oh, you had to go left. The very thing that video games believe you never have to do, go left. I have been thwarted. I know you're all thinking, Bongo, why don't you just edit this out? I'm like, why? Why do you feel like only a few seconds of repeated footage is going to be awful for you? Alright, let's try it for the third and hopefully final time. What the fuck? How is that wrong? Now I'm annoyed. Why does it like just send you all the way back to the beginning every time? This is the worst thing that happened. Especially when it's the door. That is the farthest to the right possible. I don't think that part was thought through at all. How is it not the board that had nothing on it? What if 
I put it here? There we go. Because you return the EM equals MC squared formula, physics students will have a reason to pull their hair out. Text time. All that remains now is to answer just a few questions before you can go on to rescue Yoshi from Bowser's evil clutches. What was Thomas Edison known as? Wizard of Menlo Park. Oh yeah, it's press start. Are you ready for another question? Where does Abraham Lincoln Lincoln's portrait appear? A uh, five dollar bill? Yep. Where did Magellan perish during his voyage? In the Philippines. Now it's time to find Yoshi and rescue him from Bowser. Good luck. Oh, hey, it's Bowser. Okay, that sprite looks pretty cool. It's just tucked in a shell. I turned Bowser into a key. You win! <laughs> and that's it! That's Mario's Time Machine for the NES. Hope you all enjoyed it. I, It was okay for what it was. I mean, I still prefer the Super Nintendo version. That's mostly because I grew up with that one. Even though it wasn't a tremendous game, it was not a bad one either. So if you like edutainment games, give this one a go. The chances are you you may not find it interesting, but that's your call. In any case, this is the Bong is signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.